today on Celebrity Insider. Zodra does not mind being touched by men. Shibza opens up about his shaky relationship with black coffee. And something that's really unexpected, Gakhiso Rabada ventures into music. Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to Celebrity Insider. Here is the Thursday edition. We're so excited to be back again. Mm, we're gonna bang serve you the best in celebrity news. My name is Bunga Kaba. Let's get started. And my name is Mbumi Mlambo. Don't forget if you're here for the first time, do the right thing and click that subscribe button. There's a video of Zotwa Abandu trending on social media, and this video has at least four men. Well, in this video, at least four men are seen touching her booty uh, while she's on stage speaking to party goers. Um, at very close, you you sort of see that Zotwa actually she doesn't have a problem with these men touching her and uh, while she she looked as though she doesn't have a problem but her fans were really upset and they said it was extremely disrespectful for these men to touch her without her consent and felt as though she was being har har harassed and abused and she came out to say no guys these are my clients there's no need to stress they came to see my show so therefore they are allowed to touch the booty <laughs> I'm not surprised. This is what the, her career has been based on. So, anyways, moving on. DJ Shimza has finally opened up about his relationship with former mental Black Coffee. Shimza says that Black Coffee is re he was with record uh, label uh, Yeah Black Coffee, so listic for the sake of the growth of his career. And there has been rumors that Black Coffee is signing artists and that he felt that were a competition and frustrating their progress in their career. And Shimza has since um, left the, the record label, and the relationship has been very, very shaky. And he was speaking about how he says that black coffee has never been booked and uh, he's never booked uh, black coffee for any of his events and vice versa and th there's just a whole lot of mess going on and he says that he's actually trying to reach out to black coffee to resolve the tensions but Seem to be Tough times, let it go, it's not working out. <laughs> and we wrap it up with unexpected news. Quick as fast as Bola, Kakiso Rabada is venturing into music. He's met up with DJ and producer the couple at the Red Bull Studios in Cape Town to put something together. Rabada says music has been a part of his life ever since. He's seen his D uh, cousins DJ, uh, his family loves music, and him uh, himself, he's also produced a couple of songs, yeah. which he's put on hold uh, because he felt as though it was just a hobby. But now he's gained a bit of confidence and thought he should join uh, Da Capo on a collaboration and put something together for you. This is a move I definitely did not expect mm. uh, but I'm happy for it. I mean, I'm even happy to give him a new name and call him DJ Rabudi or, or something cute like that. Like, you know, but he says don't worry uh -huh. if you're a fan uh, of him uh, playing cricket, don't worry about his career. His first love is cricket and he'll just do music on the side. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll have to see about this one because I th I, I'm a lover of of music and if you're gonna put out something really good then please work at it uh, please no it's just for fun it's nothing no, serious no. okay she's hating we're out thank you so much <laughs> for coming to watch this for celebrity insider on Jobic tv and like we always say like a tt 